This is the grade 8 math practice test for TN Ready. Question number 15, the question says, the typing rate for Marsha is shown in the graph. The typing rate for Clay is shown in the table. And they give you this information about Marsha. The times down here, that's the independent variable, the x. The dependent variable, number of words per minute typed, is here. Uh, for Clay, we'll just assume, and I'll just make a note that x is here and y is here. That'll go away in a second, just to give you a feel where they're supposed to be located. We'll need that information in just a second. So what's the question itself? Based on this information, which statement is true? Clay types 16 words a minute, faster than Marsha, and is faster than Marsha. Marsha types 16 words per minute, which is faster than Clay. Clay types two words per minute more than Marsha. Marsha types two words per minute, uh, two more words per minute than Clay. So we can get a feel for how this is going to go by just putting these points in this graph and looking. 3 at 54, somewhere around in here. 5 and 90 here. And then 7 and 126 is going to be way up here somewhere. Let's put it there. It doesn't actually matter. Now, the easy thing to do in your head is just to connect those two dots together or those three dots together but there's no particular statement here that says it's a linear relationship so I'm not even going to bother I'm not going to connect them together I just want to see where they are relative to where Marsha is um, just because it doesn't say that Clay's typing in a, the same amount every minute but we can work them at each individual point and make a comparison so at three minutes Clay has more words per minute than Marsha, and at five, that is also true. So if there are situations that say words per minute, Marsha makes, uh, is faster, those would be inaccurate. So let's go ahead, and uh, I'm actually going to zoom out a little bit here, and that will mess up these dots because they don't adjust. But it gives me a better way to look. We know that Clay types at a rate of 16 words per minute, which is faster than Marsha. That might be possible. So I'll put a star over here. Um, the worst star you've ever seen. I'll just put the uh, pound sign at hashtag. Marsha types at 16 words per minute, which is faster than Clay. Well, we know Marsha's not faster, so that's out. Sorry, Marsha. Clay types two words per minute, uh, more words per minute than Marsha. It's possible. And Marsha types two more words per minute than Clay. Well, if she types more, that would make no sense. So now we're down to Clay types at a rate of 16 per minute. And Clay types two more words per minute than Marsha. So what do we what do we even do here? How does that work? We need to do a little bit of comparison work. If we're finding words per minute, in order to figure out what that value is, we just need to take the words typed and divide by the minutes. This is a calculator section, so why won't we just use one? How about it? Or you can do the division in your head. That's fine, too. This is the worst calculator, so if I can do it with this, you certainly can. 18. That's not looking great. 18. And 18. So he's really doing 18 words per minute. So where they said, hey... Could be 16, it's not, so that's out, which means our answer is going to be C. So let's do a little work to validate that to be true. I'm going to pick points that match up. So at 3, he's at 54. She's somewhere around 48 or 49. I'll say 49 just out of pure guess. Who knows? At 5, it should be much easier. And then at 7, who knows? And we can also go down here and say this is maybe a little bit past... 15, so let's do that. Well, I know 16 over 1 is 16, but that's way too. Um, there's a lot of iffiness in there. But 80 divided by 5. Oh, that's pretty good. And then 49 divided by 3. Doesn't really work out evenly. What if I said it was 48? Oops. 16. So if I think this is 48, which is reasonable, see it's right here, so it's below the line, and these are so tightly packed uh, that I could say that she, so this is Clay, 16 is Marsha, 
And last time I checked, 18 is two more than 16, so Clay types two more words per minute than Marsha. So the answer to number 15 is C. Now, here's the deal. It was helpful for me to go ahead and plot those points on this graph. That part would have taken about maybe 15 seconds or something, or maybe 30 seconds. I'll even stretch it out. You could immediately see that Clay is typing faster than Marsha just looking at the points. So you get yourself down to a 50-50 anyway. And then if you can just do the division and see these numbers are certainly not 16, they're 18, you could have immediately picked here. This could be a very short problem. The thing is about these types of problems is just because one of the answers doesn't seem to work doesn't necessarily mean you should just toss it out. If I did this 49 divided by 3 thing and got 16.3, uh, I might start getting a little edgy. So test the ones that you think they might be, even if you think you've eliminated all three answers. So if I've eliminated this and this and this, and I'm sure it's this, you should still go back and do something to check that fourth answer to confirm, because if you make a little mistake early on, it's going to cost you later. Anyway, that's it. Um, take your time if you have time on this one, and just do your best to eliminate the answers by making some dots. Nobody's going to judge you, and if they do, they're probably going to get the question wrong themselves.